Trenbolone. History. Injectable trenbolone acetate was first released for use in the cattle industry in the 1980s under the name Finijet. At the time, it contained the short-acting acetate ester. This trenbolone preparation was used to beef up cattle right before slaughter. Trenbolone hexahydrobenzylcarbonate is also known as trenbolone cyclohexylmethylcarbonate, these are two names for the exact same ester chain. This was the very first incarnation of trenbolone ever made for human use by a pharmaceutical brand, Negma out of France. The manufacturer discontinued the product in 1997 and no other forms of human-grade trenbolone have been available since then. All of the trenbolone on the black market today is either veterinarian-grade or made in underground laboratories. In the late 1990s when Parabolin was discontinued, the only, and last, human-grade trenbolone product disappeared, so bodybuilders started extracting the trenbolone acetate hormone from cattle pellets sold under the brand Finaplex H. The pellets were not meant for human use, but rather as cattle implants to be punched behind the animal's ear with a pellet gun. Creative bodybuilders used solvents and filters to extract the hormone from the pellets into a vial with injectable oil. Trenbolone Profile Trenbolone trend, has been regarded by many as one of the strongest and most effective steroids to change your physique quickly. This steroid is part of the 19 nor family of steroids which are characterized by a modification at the 19th position. Like trenbolone, another popular steroid in this 19 nor family is the very popular nandrolone, decadurabolin and NPP, although the real-world actions of these two steroids are very different. Scientist and steroid experts rate trenbolone as having an anabolic and androgenic score of 500 500s, with testosterone being the base at 100 100 all steroids are rated as compared to testosterone. This rating of 500 500 means trenbolone is five times more powerful than testosterone in both its anabolic and androgenic effects. When talking about the anabolic effects of a steroid we are referring to the desirable effects like muscle building, nitrogen retention, cell repair and protein synthesis. In addition, trenbolone is five times more powerful than testosterone in its androgenic effects. When talking about the androgen properties of a steroid, we are referring to effects like muscle hardness, strength gains, increasing metabolism and, in some users, increased aggression. Trenbolone's chemical structure keeps it from being turned into female hormones, like estrogen, by the aromatase enzyme, so estrogen side effects are not a concern. Trenbolone's chemical ring alterations keep the aromatase enzyme from attaching to it and imparting its feminizing structural changes. Since trenbolone cannot aromatize and will not cause water retention, the muscle gains made on trenbolone are very hard and dry, in fact, some users report a very noticeable drying effect from this steroid. Esters and injections. Injectable trenbolone has been commercially available with three different ester forms. Trenbolone acetate. Acetate is, by far, the most popular injectable version of trenbolone. This is mainly because it's been the easiest to obtain for most steroid users. For almost a decade, you couldn't visit a steroid forum without seeing threads about Finaplex H conversions. This trend died down when UG Labs came around and made costly and dangerous conversions unnecessary. Although there is some debate about the half-life, acetate is usually injected every other day. Though, more hardcore users inject daily. I find this delivers marginally more results, but makes you feel like a pincushion. Tren acetate is often stacked with testosterone propionate during cutting cycles, in addition, Winstrol is considered synergetic with Trembolone. Trenbolone enanthate. Due to the popularity of testosterone enanthate, the word enanthate has given a boost to this trend preparation. Ironically, enanthate is clearly not as powerful as hexahydrobenzylcarbonate, but it sure is heck more popular. This just goes to show you that quality doesn't equal to popularity. Bodybuilders are usually doing things because they are popular, not because they are the most efficient way to get results. Just like testosterone enanthate, tren enanthate is injected once a week due to the longer ester. Some users inject it twice a week for better results. Though, again, I find the increase in injections unnecessary, why? Simply because the added benefit is marginal at best. Cycling trend enanthate is fairly simple. In general, it's stacked with testosterone enanthate or sapionate, while some guys add sustenon to the mix. Orals range from dianabol to anivar, depending on your goals. Trenbolone hexahydrobenzylcarbonate. Since this ester is a tongue twister, we'll call it trend hex, to make reading simple. Tren Hex is the famous parabolin preparation of Trenbolone that was the magic steroid you could find in the 90s. I remember guys in the gym going crazy about getting their hands on some parabolin. It was like finding gold. Why was it so popular? Anecdotally, I find Tren Hex to be a lot more powerful than acetate and enanthate. Since the real difference is in the esters, this might not make much sense. However, from personal use and from the numerous clients that I've had cycle parabolin, I can safely say this is the best Trenbolone preparation on the market. Weekly injections deliver amazing results because it has a longer half-life. In addition, Parabolin tends to build up in your system and really pushing you to reach peak performance after the first two weeks. Stacking Trembolone Hex Parabolin can be a bit tricky, as most guys are using it for cutting. 
The best way is with a EOW every other week injection of a longer ester chain like testosterone sapionate combined with EOD every other day injections of testosterone propionate. This allows for an interesting mix of testosterone and trimbolone buildup in your system. Oral trimbolone has two main ester forms. Acetate. Metribolone, methyltrienolone. Although the base trimbolone hormone is available without an ester, this preparation has never gained popularity. There are two versions of oral trimbolone available, one with an acetate ester and a methylated version called metribolone, methyltrienolone, which has been altered at the 17th carbon position for oral use. Many bodybuilders question the real effectiveness of the acetate ester in oral preparations, with most athletes opting to inject trimbolone acetate as opposed to trying to take it orally. Dosages and uses. Dose ranges for trembolone vary greatly depending on the ester preparation being used and the desired effects of the user. Trembolone acetate is injected every day or every other day, in dosages ranging from 50 mg per injection to, as high as, 200 mg per injection. Steroid users who inject the enanthate or hexahydrobenzylcarbonate version will usually inject the product weekly. The longer ester allows for a slower release of the hormone, thus, the steroid can be injected less often and in higher amounts. Athletes that use the longer ester versions of this product will usually inject between 200 mg to 600 mg of the product per week. The oral version of Trembolone 17 alpha methyl Trembolone is so powerful and toxic that only 0.5 mg to 2 mg of the product are needed daily to see and feel noticeable results. Half-life. On its own, the base Trembolone hormone has a half-life of about 6 to 8 hours. Although not many bodybuilders use the base hormone. Most athletes are injecting a version of Trembolone that has an ester chain attached to it, and it is not until plasma lipases in the bloodstream cleave off the ester chain that Trembolone is free to interact with androgen receptors in muscle cells. The active half-life of the acetate ester version is of about 48 hours, while the enanthate version is about 5 to 7 days. The hexahydrobenzylcarbonate cyclohexylmethylcarbonate ester chain being the longest at 8 to 10 days. Though, due to the lack of scientific consensus, some of these figures can be off by about 10 to 20 percent. Side effects. The most common side effects reported by Trembolone users are aggression and temper, night sweats, decreased cardio endurance, dark colored urine, loss of hair, where there is no genetic predisposition for it, inability to reach a climax during intercourse, or sometimes total impotence. Gynecomastia has been reported in rare cases. Coughing spells or shortness of breath following an injection. Also known as trend cough. Managing side effects. Interestingly, there is a lot of information about the negative side effects of Trembolone, but there is little information about combating those sides. Let's address the first, and most prominent, side effect, trend cough, and cardio problem. This is by far the biggest complaint with trend use, which can be mitigated by adding cartazol and ostazol to your trend cycle. The second problem with trend is the possibility of prolacin side effects, which are the cause of possible impotence and problems in the bedroom, as well as gynecomastia, bitch tits. This can easily be overcome by the use of two products, a uh, Cabergoline, Dostinex, which is an anti-prolactin drug and B. HC Generate, which helps you keep libido going during a cycle. The third problem, and one of the deadliest, is the issue with your liver and kidneys while using Trimbolone. This is one of the most serious issues, and it's never addressed properly by most steroid users. To fix this, you need to add N2-Guard to your cycle. It will help protect your liver, kidneys and organs from the harsh trend sides. Buying. Back in the 90s, there was a way to obtain human-grade Trimbolone, but that's history. These days, you can buy Trembolone as a veterinarian or UG lab, underground lab, preparation. That means quality is going to depend on your source. Prices for Tren are high, even when you buy from wholesale suppliers. A 10 ml vial of Trembolone can run you as high as $150 USD, while an oral Tren bottle can cost around $70 to US$90. Again, this depends on the ester you're buying, supplier you're dealing with and the type of preparation you want.